you're watching Ray T. My name is Ray T and I'm the lead singer of Special Request. I'm from Fairfield, California by way of Oakland, California. I sing R&B, pop, urban, and neo-soul. Music means everything to me. Music is my life, my blood. It's, uh, it's my complete world. Without music, I think everything would just come to a stop. I'm influenced by basically everybody in the business, you know, who the big names, you know, you want to go back starting with James Brown, Michael Jackson, Prince, you know, even the uh, Neos and the Ushers of the world, you know, Chris Brown. And some of the females that inspired me would be Aretha Franklin, uh, Whitney Houston. Uh, you may want, even want to go with uh, Gladys Knight. Oh, just growing up as a child, I used to sit up and listen to my mom and she would be singing around the house and uh, she had such a beautiful soprano. So I, I started imitating my mom a lot and listen to the, the music that she would listen to. I mean, she grew up listening to Otis Redding and, and people like that. And Otis Redding, like I say, James Brown, Al Green, one of my favorites. And um, listening to Al Green is the one that really made me want to stop and become a singer. My ups and downs is just the industry period. You know, in the industry, there's a lot of peaks and valleys, you know, which means, you know, sometimes you work a lot, sometimes you don't work at all. And, you know, so, but the struggle has been to make a name for ourselves, the branding of Ray T as an artist, along with my group special request. I, you know, I sit up and I, I guess uh, I'm, compared to so many different types of artists. And my struggle is to maintain my own identity and be Ray T. Oh man, um, my best moments on stage is, you know, when I do the big concerts, um, playing in front of 15,000 people, you know, that's great. But sometimes even when you, whether it's a big crowd or whether it's a small crowd, it really helps because it's like the smaller crowds are more intimate and you can be more personal with them. And uh, I just kind of love being on stage. The most memorable thing in action for me is uh, <laughs> not a great one because I, I, I get to see the fans a lot, but being a lead singer, you know, they kind of usher you in and usher you out. So you get a chance to see the fans kind of in passing. But I was doing this show one night and we were playing a club. And I was walking through the audience and this fan grabbed me and pulled me. And a week later, I was in surgery for rotator. You know, she actually tore my rotator cuff. And I know it was great that she, you know, cared about me and wanted to get to me that much. But at the same time, you know, she kind of yanked it a little harder than she, I guess she really anticipated, you know, causing me great pain. And, you know, um, but even now today, when I, I had a chance to meet that fan again, and that fan is now one of my biggest fans in the world. So, you know, the fan interaction is always great. It's always great to see them. You know, uh, the ones that constantly come back and see you again and again and again. The world tour 
is the most anticipated thing that I've, you know, done this thus far. You know, I've had a chance to do Japan and Hawaii and places like that, but knowing that I'm going to be going to the world tour, it, uh, it's the best thing that could happen, knowing that we're going to be going to Canada. You know, we may hit India, back to Japan, uh, United States. We're going to be going to South America. I mean, you say the world. And just, uh, I'm so excited about doing the tour. I can't wait. It's like, uh, my emotions are running so high with the anticipation of just being able to walk on stage in front of, of in front of the new fans that seen us for the first time and some like I say some that seen us for the second time. That's what's really important about what we're doing. You know, being able to connect with the fans. It's like and building that fan base around the world. That's it's gonna that's gonna be the greatest thing since Apple Pie. I'm so excited, you know, to get to Canada, to get to India, to get to Japan. You know, I mean, there's a chance to even go to the motherland, which is, you know, Africa. And to, to get a chance to do this, I am just overwhelmed. I, I can't wait, you know, I just can't wait until we get this done. I've been preparing for the tour, one, a lot of rehearsal, a lot of rehearsal, it's got to be perfect. You know, as a friend of mine once said, we practice until we get it right, and then we practice until we can't get it wrong. And he said, and we do that with love. And that's one way we're preparing. Also, you gotta get yourself in shape, you know, cause we're gonna be doing maybe a 10 minute show, it may be an hour show, it may be a two hour show. And when you're doing that, it, uh, you have to be in shape to do it night after night after night and to keep doing it on a high level. You wanna keep yourself in shape and that's the main thing, plenty of rest, eating right, and just rehearsal, rehearsal, practice, practice, practice. Being, doing so well on the music charts is, again, one of the greatest blessings that you can ask for. With so many people out, you know, the Chris Browns and the Neos and the Jay-Zs and Little Wayne's of the world, to be able to compete with these artists is, uh, is phenomenal. And to know that our music is being played right along with these great names uh, is just phenomenal. And my expectations for the tour or my music is just to be accepted for who and what we are, and that's an entertainer. My advice to up and coming performers is to stay true to yourself. Stay true to your music. And most of all, never give up on your dreams. Because if you can dream it, you can make it happen. And it will happen. But you have to stay true to who you are and what you are. I would like to tell all the fans worldwide that listen to Ray T, Special Request, that without you, there's no us. And we want you to keep calling the radio stations, call an MTV, uh, whoever your carrier is, and requesting our music because you make it happen. You make it happen. 
And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting us year after year and giving us such a great career because as I said before, without you, our fans, our public, there is no Ray T, there is no special request. And I always use a term, I say, namaste, which means I bow to you. Where did I love go? Where did I love go? 